Maybe another time. Come on, Pathos. While strolling through the streets, their minds seem to naturally connect like an animal to its habitat. He shared the knowledge he had learned in the Maktabaya Machafuko with her, and she exposed wisdom from worlds to come to him, as well as her adoration for nature upon earth and beyond. He felt his spirit was about to jump out of his body when she spoke to him. It was as if her very words called forth a higher form of himself. But frequently were they interrupted by fans and worshippers in her case. So he asked if she would like to see the entirety of Black Atlantis upon Clayton's summit. Athena accepted. After hiking up what was a steep pathway, they finally reached the top and walked towards the edge of Clayton's summit and peered out across all of the empire. Pathos faced the goddess and coiled himself deeply into her excruciatingly seductive eyes that shined a soothing synergy into his optics. With the setting sun's beams reflecting off of her skin, he instinctually pulled her close and casually caressed random strands of her braids, an action that heaved a helm of harmonic happiness within her heart. Mm, bars. In every epoch of my eternal progression, no man or God has ever touched me as you touch me with such patent passion. It is new for me. Your emotion is devoid of treachery as the ocean is devoid of separation. Mm. She bit her lip to exhibit her explicit thirst for him. Pathos's impulses broke their containment field and possessed him to kiss Athena with an unparalleled level of elation, only fathomed in the mind of the most imaginative lovers. Their lips assumed the roles of yin and yang. Their spirits expressed adoration as men to flame. And all of their organs rushed to climax in zenith flames of fervor. That's when Athena raised her gaze to the sky and ceased her intimate interaction with him. I, I gotta go now, she hesitated to announce. Why? Why must you give such bliss, then disperse it into oblivion? Pathos frowned. It's my father, Zeus. I could sense him calling me for my return to Olympus through his great slumber as we speak, she expressed with deep sorrow. <laughs> You hella dope, Pathos. Handsome, kind, and artistic. And you are one of the funniest people I know. But I think our bond is way above romance. We would be doing each other a disservice to be involved like that. What we truly admire about each other is our unique minds and our outlandish outlooks. We are like mind lovers or something. That's even a thing. <laughs> Besides, Zeus forbid me from becoming romantically involved with any human, even though what is within you is far from beyond human. You have yet to flourish your source, but we will see each other again real soon. Just reach out to me telepathically whenever you want to talk or hang out. Meeting you was divine. I can't wait to tell my sister about you. <laughs> Goodbye, Prince. And remember what I told you. Stay sugar-free. If you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready. Get your knowledge while you bullshit. Athena turned from him and ascended into the sky with gallant